Hey girl, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, okay? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little cook with me. So, you know, let's start off with a glass of wine. This was my wine of choice for the night, a nice red blend, okay? So yeah, we're just gonna pour up a little glass or uh, should I say uh, a lot of glass? So we're gonna start off with some cubed steak. Add the olive oil. Garlic powder is a must. And I like my food to be seasoned, okay? Another garlic seasoning because, you know, we can never have too much garlic. Some salt, pink Himalayan salt to be exact. And now I'm grinding up some black pepper, some freshly grinded black pepper, because I'm extra. Okay, so now that that is all mixed up, we are going to let her marinate. So I put her in a bowl so that it's, you know, easier to transport to the fridge. <laughs> and while that is marinating, I like to prep my vegetables. So we have asparagus, mushrooms, and potatoes all washed, okay, all washed. And I'm going to dice the potatoes just so that it cooks easier. So I have some already minced um, garlic that I minced myself and some parsley. Get the pan nice and hot with the olive oil, okay? Add that steak nice and spread out. Yeah, you gotta give them their space so they can do what they need to do, girl, okay? You gotta check the temperature, gotta check, check the progress. We cook attentively, okay? We're not leaving the food and going doing something else. No, we don't cook with neglect, okay? We cook with attention. Oh, look at that sear. But she's not ready yet. She's not ready yet. Ooh, girl. I know you saw that sear. Ooh, girl. The sear on that meat? You cannot tell me. I am not, you know, a little chef. That meat is seared to perfection. Beautiful. So I'm going to remove the steak because I don't want my steak too well done, okay? So I remove it from the hot pan, and now it's back to the potatoes because they're ready. You know your potatoes are ready when you can stick a fork through them. So yeah, they are ready for mashing, girl. Yeah, so you should be able to mash your potatoes with a fork. They do have potato mashers, but I'm like, eh, what's the point? I can use a fork. And yeah, so I add my butter, a lot of butter, some heavy whipping cream, not milk, okay? I want it to be heavily whipped and creamy. Mix that together. So beautiful. And she's still in the pan or the pot because she's going back on the stove. Add some freshly minced garlic. That I minced myself, by the way. I don't even know if I mentioned that. I did that off camera because I didn't want it to be embarrassing if I cut my finger off some garlic powder, some more salt and pepper. You know, salt and pepper go hand in hand. Now whip it together, girl. Look at the flick of that wrist, okay? So now we have a clean pan for the steak. Add some butter, because we're gonna have nice buttery, garlicky steak bites, okay? Let that butter do its thing, you know, when it's nice and brown. And so we're gonna add the meat. Adding some seasoning. Kind of like to make a buttery sauce or, uh, yeah. Add some garlic. Mix it together, nice and browned. And it is definitely time to add that meat, girl. Fogging up the camera. It's getting too hot in the kitchen. Oh, 
You saw that seer, girl? Look at that seer. Whoa. Whoa. She is doing what she needs to do, okay? That seer, chef's kiss. Add some more garlic because I told you, girl, you can never have too much garlic. These are uh, <laughs> butter garlic steak bites, so it's only appropriate. Let that garlic get nice and cooked. Add some mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Like, mushrooms are my favorite meat substitute. So I feel like more healthy, and I love it with steak. Oh my gosh, I love it with my steak, girl. So, you know, I just had to throw it in there. <laughs> But yeah, mushrooms are a really good meat substitute, especially um, if you're trying to cut back. So you can actually make it like half and half, like half mushrooms, half steak. And girl, you won't know the difference because the way those mushrooms soak up the taste and flavor, girl, you're going to think you're eating a steak, okay? Nobody can tell you you're not eating a steak, okay? Ooh, that's sear, girl. The sear on these steaks, you got to check. You got to just admire your work. So we're just going to let that simmer and do what it needs to do, girl. Flip them over so there's an even sear on both sides, girl. Move them around, you know, so one isn't getting more heat than the other. You know, we're all about, you know, keeping it even. What you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Okay, now it's time to plate my favorite part. We have the mashed potatoes looking beautiful. Oh, look at that butter. Look at that butter just drizzling. We're adding the steak bites. And girl, they look amazing. Oh, look at that butter. We got the steak bites with the mushrooms, a little parsley. You're not a real chef if you don't use parsley. <laughs> asparagus. I just pan sear the asparagus. I thought that was really straightforward. So, you know, you got to give the steak back some of its juices, girl. Okay, because the juices are inside, but you want them to be on top, girl. And you know I had to take some pictures, different angles. I was just so impressed by my own work, girl. Okay, so that is it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave me a little comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next or just say hi. I'm here for both. And smash that subscribe button, girl. Okay, if I'm your girl and you're my girl and this is a forever thing, then smash that subscribe button. <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye, girl.